Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with my thoughts, analysis, and rant, and rant. So as of this past days, Olympus has finally announced to their successor of the EM5. It is the EM5 Mark III. I'm just going to call it EM3, EM5 free, or EM5 because you all know what I'm talking about. So basically this EM5 is long overdue. And as you know, as of last year, I got the EM5 Mark II because I thought that that year the EM5 Mark III was gonna come out. So it has been four years since the EM5 Mark II came out. And so here is the EM5 Mark III. So I'm just gonna let you know what I think of this camera. It is long overdue, expensive for its specifications, and it's just, I mean, it's sad to see the EM5 get treated this way. Since the EM, the first edition EM5 came out, it was such a popular camera that it made the micro four thirds popular and become mainstream and this is what it gets from olympus it's certainly not the camera that it used to be but first and foremost let's get on with the specs so magnesium alloy with a polycarbonate body or should i say all over the place so basically magnesium alloy with a mix of plastic unlike the em5 mark ii which had all metal so what else 20 megapixels effective 20 megapixels image ratio are one to one four by three three by two and 16 by nine obviously four thirds uh sensor and then true pick eight and then iso is 200 to 25 1600 but it can expand to 64 to 25600 and then it has seven white balance pre ship the image stabilization it still has the five axis in body it can go up to six and a half stops which is pretty good uh, jpeg can shot uh, also raw it has contract detect and phase detect which is from the em112 and so it has 121 uh, focus points that's pretty good fully articulated LCD you gotta have that 3 inch screen with 1.4 uh, screen uh, screen dots it is touchscreen it is and it has electronic viewfinder same thing as I think the EM5 Mark II 213 million dots and then check this out it has one out of 8,000 seconds of maximum shutter speed which is pretty good and so you also have built-in flash nope you don't have built-in flash it has a hot shoe though so eh, it's normal and so metering modes multi center and also spots so here is the video modes it has 4k 24p 4k 30p 4k 25p and then 4k at 23.98p which doesn't even make sense to me why not just have 60p what's wrong with 60p and then you have 1080 120p frames per second and i'm going to talk about that later okay 120p 1080 60p 1080 50p 1080 30p 1080 25p 1080 23.98p again doesn't make sense and there is no 720p has a stereo microphone and then USB 2.0 and it can actually charge as a micro USB and then it has a microphone jack and no headphone jack and I'm gonna get talk to that later and then it has the BLS 50 which uses the same battery as the EM 10 apparently the battery life is 310 shots and so those are the specs oh and there is no gps so those are the specs and so based on looks it looks like the em5 too but 
obviously it has some different angles and all of that stuff as you know they just make it a little bit different enough so you cannot use the a hot shoe the major changes was on the left side of the panels which kind of reminds you of where films are rewinded it has a, a multi single shots and also timer and also some turning off the screen so those are the specs so I'll give you my thoughts right now basically Olympus did enough to update its EM5 Mark III and I guess they just wanted to please those people who have an EM5 II but the people who have EM5 II such as I do to make video uh, memories and also YouTube and as other uh, hobbies too are not happy with this upgrade not only that it is overpriced and based on the specs it is basically got getting the specs from the EM 1 2 and so it's basically like a camera that is disappointing and again in the beginning it is a camera that is EM5 Olympus is basically treated the EM5 like um, Cinderella became before before being Cinderella basically just ah whatever just not even a priority even though this model has been the most popular selling Michael Ford turds in Olympus and even in Panasonic and it's sad so let's get to the analysis in terms of the market share this is not gonna move units it's not gonna change the way Olympus is doing business not only that it is not going to increase the Michael Ford thirds market share in terms of the digital cameras and digital photography industry how do I know well again it's not making any huge ground it's just basically taking a couple years of specs and then slapping on a so-called new body and then that's it in terms of uh, how photographers and general consumers feel about this camera the general consumers don't even know about this camera that's all I'm going to tell you I mean you're not going to see this in Target you're not going to see this in Costco you're not going to see this in Walmart so you're not going to see this much at all you might see it in Best Buy and then for the photographers they're gonna say well the sensor is too small there's nothing groundbreaking about this it's not gonna help me change the way I take pictures or it's not gonna way it's not gonna change the way I see pictures so there's nothing groundbreaking about this and so what are we left with just another camera I guess to just give Olympus fanboys to say hey they finally there's an upgrade after four years that's all it is and so that's basically it for the analysis and we'll get to my rant here so I done a list so number one no USB type C and they're still using micro USB I mean seriously I've been banging on about this now on camera other industry whether it be phones whether it be chargers whether it be some kind of multimedia device get on with it it needs to be USB type C you can do more with USB type C you you won't even need an HDMI port when you have a USB type C you can just use this USB type C because it can actually uh, transfer displays Number two, the sensor is old. It's from the EM12. Again, it's a couple years old. Number three, they removed the headphone jack for the external grip. The EM53 does come with external grip, but you have to buy it separately. But it does not come with a headphone uh, port because the EM52 headphone port is actually in the external grip so which means if you buy the external grip Olympus external grip you can actually record uh, hear and control the audio levels of your shooting in the EM52 which is pretty cool but in the EM53 it has been removed on the external grip 
Number four, smaller battery. As I said, the battery is from the EM10. I'm not gonna really sure it's gonna last because this has 4K. Number five, it has plastic body. They said that it's all weather sealed. Yes, I get it. You can weather seal a plastic. I mean, it's not scientific. Let's be honest here. But they said it's to make it lighter. Well, I thought that the EM52 was lighting up. I mean, if I put it in a messenger bag, I couldn't tell. But whatever. But if you do hold it in your hand, I'm not gonna lie. The EM52 is a very thick and very concentrated amount of weight. It feels like a weapon. But this, they said, uh, a lot of parts are polycarbon or AKA plastic to make it lighter, but whatever. Number six, it is expensive. So for the price, for the body, it is $1,200. So additional 200, you can get an EM12. It's a better camera. So with the lens, you, uh, 14, 250 millimeter lens, it will be 1800. Are you serious? 1800? I'd rather just get an EM5 2. And that's why it's expensive. Number seven, that 1080p, 120p, well, there's, when you're recording at that frame rate, there's no, you cannot record audio. That's what, it's, that's what they said. I saw them from videos. You cannot re record audio, which is ridiculous. I'm not even going to bang on about this. It's so pointless. And then last but not least, this has been long overdue on an update. This update should have came last year. Not this year, but last year. Why? Because you know why? Because Olympus was focused on EM1X, which nobody bought. I mean, yeah, you have what, a couple hundred? But in terms of sales, that's basically saying, yeah, nobody bought it. So they should have focused this, they should have focused on the EM53 instead of the EM1X. Heck, they could have focused on the EM13, I mean, EM53 last year and then released the EM1X this year. But whatever, that's another. Um, story for another time and so that basically concludes this thoughts analysis and rant on the em53 so tell me what you think of this camera and i will see you in another thoughts analysis and rant it's me mr informal bye bye